Welcome, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Etihad Stadium. And this match today is France and Australia. We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve. Alan, you had the honour of playing for England, and we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment. You pull on your nation shirt. Always a big game. This is no different. Getting bigger and better, I'm sure, almost every time we come to it, the Etihad Stadium, a new tier opened relatively recently to increase the capacity. And Manchester City enjoying that kind of success that will bring even newer fans to their home. Yeah, they've shared some great memories here, haven't they? A couple of title wins. Some Man City fans might still pine for the days of Main Road, but we're right in the 21st century with this place. The line-up here for France. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Rafael Varane starts with Samuel Umtiti as the centre-backs. They've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. And this is the way they're going to go today, Australia. And it's interesting, they've got three at the back and three up front. It's quite an unusual formation, isn't it? You don't often see it. It's going to be interesting to see how it pans out here. But uh, I think the manager has got an option to switch, maybe... Go back to uh, four at the back if he wants to. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. In goes the corner. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Sidibe into the attacking third. Now he can cross it. Conte. Now Pogba. Conte. Now the shot. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Just on the subject of France and this uh, wonderful group of young players that they've got. Yeah, and we talk about... Oh, he could be in. Well, that's good defending. This should be a bit of a frolic for France, shouldn't it? You would expect so, as long as they produce something like what they can. Robbie Cruiser. Getting forward now into attack Australia. We were interrupted talking about France and plenty to talk about the present team. Alan, isn't there? They're, they're real contenders for the major trophies now again. I think they are. They're the envy of most of Europe, the way that they produce these lads. Players that could easily be part of glory coming up. And now he's looking for some support. Cruiser. Gets his foot in there. Conte. Backing his own skill as the opposition try to nick the ball from him. Pogba. Conte. France working the ball cleverly into a Mbappe. And they've scored. And they've opened the scoring here. count the same but he won't ever get an easier one no I don't think so but uh, he was there right place right time well, here's the goal again that's good for France they've got this lead Cruiser
Australia carrying the ball forward well. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. Just a heavy touch, the opposition could take the ball away. Mendy. back with an interception shots on here and the goalkeeper got a touch to that fine save the corner now for Australia and it's taken definitely free kick for France and no disputing it For me, France will be looking towards half-time, certainly with one eye at the moment, because they're not quite having it all their own way. But they do have the lead. If they continue like this, though, that lead might not last until half-time. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Attacking well here. Nice idea with the through ball. Didn't come off, though. That was a foul. The referee's allowed the game to go on, he's entitled to do that. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. But they could pose some danger now. Drills it in. And it's in, off the bar. And it goes via the underside of the bar. Always looks special. Well, maybe a little bit of luck there, but he's hit it hard and true and got his reward. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. The referee has indicated... And the decision for the added time is three minutes. Well, that looked dangerous until he made the interception. Here's Conte. Good vision here. He's through here. A real opening for him. Well, that's half time. And 2 0 is the score at the halfway mark. A brilliant first half from this fella. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure. He'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. Good first half for France. Now it's the second half for them. Conte. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Juric onto the attack now. The they can get one back now. Well, that could be an important moment. That would have got them right back in the match. Well, they hadn't had too many chances, and uh, I think that miss could cost them in this game. Golo Conte. Fogba. Cahill. Juric. Played forward. A bit of menace in this attack. Oh, he's cut that out well. Well read. Sidibe. Benjamin Mendy.
Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Put in from the wide area. Rubs. Great goalkeeper. Great save. Well, he shouldn't have had a pair there, but he's so agile, this keeper. Fogba. Giroud. Usman Dembele. Giro! Shot blocked here. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. Well, from the neutral perspective, you do love to see attacking players playing as well as they can, and uh, it keeps us on the edge of our seats, and he's certainly done that today. He's going to be taken off now. Yeah, and he's got himself a few goals this season, and as a result, he's playing with a great deal of confidence, and that's vital for any striker. Corner's taken. Very good distance to the clearance. Now it's Usman Dembele. Good interception. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Well, they've lost an opportunity here, trying to break. So the corner to come. Substitution, and it's going to be France who are going to make it. In from Payet. Good defensive clearance there. And that will be a throw as the header goes out of play. Mendy. Here's Conte. Payet. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Juric. I like the look of this attack. He's taking a chance, but he's keeping the ball under some pressure. Griezmann. Gets his foot in there. Fogba. Payet. Another turnover in play here with that interception. It goes out wide again. Maybe he'll cross it here. He's got his shot off now. Conte. Well, they talk about football being a passing game. And you can keep it short, you can go long, you can be direct. Mbappe! Well, he tried to place it and could hardly have placed it further from the goal. I can only think that got a horrible bobble. Yo, that was a shocker. They decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Benjamin Mendy. Here's the chance. Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Just the last formalities for France before the victory is confirmed. Has been a match that they have controlled pretty much from start to finish. And their victory will be well merited in this particular game. Shoots! Good work by the goalkeeper. McGowan. And the Socceroos striving to attack now. block well the fans love this the goalkeeper coming up to the opposing penalty area for the corner and the manager Alan is making this change here 
substitution will take place. Wonderful to watch. He took those two goals superbly well. Australia get the corner. Swung in from the corner. North official has indicated three more minutes. Three minutes of having time. Comes in with a tackle. Lacazette. And it's come to an end here with the final whistle. It was absolutely 